I have been fat my whole life, right? So I am very accustomed to the negativity that can be thrown my way, be it from family, friends, and strangers. And what I find funny about this negativity is it's always shrouded in this idea of like tough love or, um, you know, that they only care about my health. And I think there's this real belief, this disillusioned belief that they think that being mean to me will motivate me to become thin. Or, hear me out on this, or what might be actually happening is that they're probably just sick of telling you the same stuff over and over and over again, and for some reason you're not doing anything about your own health, because they know, everybody knows, it's not just like some one-off knowledge or some forbidden tainted knowledge somewhere. Everybody knows that when you're fat, overall, as the years progress, as your life becomes progressively more and more ass and your body becomes less and less flexible, uh, you will slowly start having more and more issues due to that weight. It makes sense, right? Naturally, if you have a car and you stack on tons and tons of weight on that car, it might be all right for like the first month, two months maybe. But after that, you're going to start seeing some issues. You're going to see that check engine light coming on. You're going to see the brakes. They're going to maybe slow down a little bit. You're going to hit that brake and it's not going to be really braking. If you know what I'm talking about, you might hear a couple squeaking. You know, you're going to hear things, okay? Same thing for your body. You can't have that weight on your body for a long period of time and expect your body to just be able to rebound from that. It's not how it works, especially rebounding as you still have the weight on your body. So maybe your friends and family are more or less telling you this stuff and going, this, this fucking woman's not doing shit about it. Like we're telling her over and over again that you have these issues and you're still not doing anything about it. That is probably why they're being mean to you, probably. It makes sense, too. Uh, there's only so much you could do for people like this. You might as well just say, fuck it. This person is going to die. This person is going to have a, a terrible life. And you know what? They may be relatively young right now, but you ain't going to be 30 forever. You're going to be busted eventually. So, you know, if you're one of her friends and family, forget it. Forgot, for, forget about this person. There's nothing you could do about it. This person is done, dusted, over, finished. There's nothing. They think that being mean to me will motivate me to become thin. But of course, give me some examples too. like what would it, what were your family saying? Like, you know, you don't have to be fat, right? Like you, you ever look in the mirror when you see yourself, you get scared. How come when you, how come when you look in the stomach, how come you look when you look at your stomach, right? How come you don't have an issue when you see that your belly button is like eight inches deep? Like you don't have a problem with that. Like what kind of utensil do you use to, to clean that out? Like what, what, what is the, the device? What is the tool that you use to like shish kebab or clean open? Like, do you have like a chimney sweeper or something like that? Uh, what, are you, what, what, what type of tool are you using? I'm still fat. True. And a lot of fat people have gone through this exact same process and are still fat. So clearly this tactic doesn't work. So what do you want us to do? Like, we can't really do shit. Dude, we gotta, we gotta talk about this for one second, dude. Lips crust. You got them croissants. You're gonna need to do something about that, dude. If your lips looking like the outside of an old building, you're gonna need a little bit of Vaseline. Just take, just dip your fingers in there and just apply, apply, apply. Do it at night, so that way you don't have to worry about it, dude. Um, just because you're not black doesn't mean you don't need to use Vaseline. You know, it, it, it's a common thing that everybody uses. I got a Vaseline tub that I've been using for two years and it's not even halfway done yet. Vaseline doesn't expire. At least I don't think it does. I've been seeing, I know black dudes, but he uses the same Vaseline since high school. So if you're out here with the crusty croissant specials, you gotta, you gotta put some Vaseline on that thing. Um, yeah, but even though this doesn't work, what's the alternative? Like, just tell you, like, yeah, it's over, GG. I guess you're just fucked for the rest of your life. You're just gonna be fat, busted, and big for your whole entire life. Then I, I guess, just like, I don't wanna talk to you then. I wanna be your friend. Because every time I look at you, I see these issues, and, like, it becomes more of a, more of a problem. I just don't wanna be your friend. I just don't want to. You're, you're, you're too far gone. You're too far lost at this point. It's over. I'm not going to be your friend anymore. So is that what you want? Through this exact same process and are still fat. So clearly this tactic doesn't work. But you would think if this group of people really cared about our health and really, really wanted us to lose weight, they would change that tactic because clearly it isn't successful. But they haven't. I I'm pretty sure that if anybody's serious about losing weight or anybody's serious about trying to convince you to lose weight they probably did a lot of things they probably subtly hinted at something maybe they for a while they were being nice about it maybe they they were linking you stuff like oh maybe you can invest in this maybe you you know here's a cookbook or you know maybe you could find something somewhere that would increase you know your cardiovascular health or something like that but at this point i'm sure they're probably just like listen i tried everything 
you're fat and it's it's it's, it's a big issue um you know i'm your mom i'm your mom and i really want to see you live longer than me i do <laughs> i really do um but you're big and it's really it's kind of it's real big you real big really really big and I've been thinking about it. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you anymore about this shit. Uh, it's hurting me every time I see you because I know you have a hard time coming up my stairs. How the fuck do I have a, a less harder time than you coming up my own stairs? And I'm 83. You know, like what was going on with that? How how are you so big that your joints are? I can literally hear when you walk up the stairs. I can hear your joints snap, crackling, and popping every time you take a step. I hear. <coughs> how come I hear that? What's up with that shit? You gotta do something about it. And they don't. Because it was never about our health. It's because being mean to fat people is a socially acceptable form of bullying. It's gotta be real. It's gotta be a great life where you can literally, you can literally project your insecurities on everybody and then come to the conclusion that even though people in your life are trying to convince you to lose weight because it would be a benefit for you and then not only you but everyone around you and then you somehow come to the conclusion that, well... I don't think they actually want me to lose weight. I just think they want to be mean to me. Why would you ever think that? Your friends and family? You really think your friends and unless your friends and family are just straight up butt cheeks and terrible, disgusting human beings, why would you ever come to the correlation that I uh, come to the to, sorry, come to the consensus that these people in your life are just bad people? That's terrible. I mean, maybe they are bad people. You know more. You know more them than me naturally. But it just kind of seems like a really, really far-fetched idea because you're also saying that everybody is dealing with this, right? So, given that information, your parents aren't just assholes. Your friends aren't just assholes because you're saying this happens to all fat people. So you're generalizing it, meaning like your friends and family are also doing what everybody else is doing. So, given that information, they're not just assholes. They're just doing this, right? So, like, what is what are we doing here? So like, are you just coming to the core? Like, are you just coming to this this idea of like, I don't have to do anything because they're just being assholes ultimately. Therefore, if they're just being assholes, they don't actually want me to lose weight. Therefore, I don't have to lose weight. Okay, yeah, it must be great to never take accountability for yourself. It must be awesome to never look in the mirror and go, I don't need to change anything. I'm beautiful. I'm perfect. While your friends, your friends and family are just going, oh my gosh, she's not gonna make it. Uh, I've been telling her for years and she still do nothing about it. It is a socially acceptable form of th hurling hatred at another human being. And it is- You know what I don't understand is like, you have the ability to talk shit about your friends and family on the internet, but you can't say it to them, to their face. Like you can't ask them, hey, what do you mean by this? Why do you always say this? Why do you do that? Why do you do this? And you don't ask them these questions because what? You probably know that the real answer is, uh, nah, bro, I'm not being mean to you. I just think that you're fat and it's probably not a good a good idea given the fact that you're probably gonna, you know, have a lot of issues. How come you don't talk to them about these issues rather than just talking to the internet about it? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like so many of these people will sit there and go, oh, I don't wanna be bullied. Oh, I don't wanna bring, I don't wanna bring awareness to this or whatever the fuck while you're literally disclosing it to the entire internet instead of the people that really matter, which are your friends and family. It's just crazy. Like these people are like narcissists 101 way for people to feel morally superior while navigating under the guise of caring for someone she's such a pick me she, she's such a fucking pick me bro it's cruel it's mean it's pathetic dude grow the fuck up okay people that look upon you and they look at you and they go <gasps> that's few and far between most people don't give a fuck about you you should be happy that you have friends and family in your life that are actually trying to help you even though they may be doing it in a negative way or i don't know exactly what they're doing because you didn't give an example you didn't tell me oh what it, what are they doing exactly that is being disrespectful or they're doing it under the guise of being mean what does that mean I need an example, okay? So I don't even know necessarily if they are being mean, but I'll take your word for it. They're being mean. So if they're being mean, at least you have somebody in your life that's trying to help you lose weight or at least trying at, at whatever they can do to, to, to help you lose weight. Like, what do you want? Like, what, 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 what do we even want at this point? Just stop talking to them then, if that's the case. If you just don't, what's the point of arguing or like, what's the point of like, what's the point of having this video up on TikTok complaining about the fact that your friends and family are mean to you? I don't know, man. Just grow up, dude. It's insidious. Yeah. To state the obvious. Why don't you say that to your friends and family instead of the internet? It's very easy to say this to just random people you don't know. But to people that you do know, it's, it's got to be real hard, right? People who genuinely care about other people tend not to hurl abuse at them. What is the abuse, though? I'm going to need to know some examples. Just give me, like, one or two examples, bro. What are they saying to you that you would consider to be abuse? For, please, 
Give me an example. Anything. I need anything so I can deduce if this is actually if this is actually abuse because it doesn't sound like it is. It just sounds like these people are probably telling you that you're obese or you're fat and it's not a good thing. And then you're just counting that as abuse. So that way you don't have to lose weight because if it's them being mean to you, then it's not being serious. Therefore, if it's not serious, I don't need to do anything about it because these people don't ultimately want me to lose weight. They just want to be mean to me. That's what I'm getting from you. That's not that's that's too easy for you. That's too easy. That's way too easy for you, bro. You're taking the easy route here instead of actually talking to these people and finding out what they actually mean. And also, give us an example of what you're talking about. Like, that's kind of obvious, no? No, it's not obvious because I don't know what you're talking about. You're just kind of saying people are being mean to me because they said something. What was it? You know, what was it? You remember when you got in trouble with that school and somebody was like, he's being B to B. And then they were like, oh, okay, that, I guess we'll just suspend him. Well, can you tell me what he said, how he said it? What was the context? What was the meaning of the statement? What do you think he meant? Like, none of that is, is important to you at all? I hate when people say shit and they don't give examples. You need to give examples, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I say this and I'm not trying to be mean, but I wish that fat women would leave other fat women alone with period. their fatness. Period. Period. Slay queen edges. 100%. That's true, dude. So many fat women. Uh, so many fat people in general. But I guess more more women because like on this particular side of the internet, it's a lot of women. But they really will uh, hate on you for losing weight. I see this shit consistently because I feel like mis uh, – what is it? What is that? What is the quotation? Um, agony loves misery or misery loves company. Misery loves company, yeah. Uh, these people all just want to be terrible. Like, they just all want to have terrible, disgusting lives. And they want to be able to confine to other people that also have terrible, disgusting lives. And if you improve your lives, then guess what? They don't like that because if you're improving your lives, that means they, they can also improve their lives. And that's a lot of work for them. And they don't want to do that work. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I've noticed this in one of my mutuals comments. But I also have seen it in my own comments when I make videos about being in a calorie deficit and trying to lose weight or working out. It's just a wave of like fat women coming online, getting in the comment section, telling us what we should do and how we should feel about our bodies and how it's this over. Uh, shut up. Damn. Shut up. Just shut up. Damn. Like I got a notification and it was from a very old video, right? And I was like, okay, cool. Clicked on it so I could read it. And apparently it was an entire discord going around about my fat body, which, you know, I make a video talking about what I eat in a day. I expect those comments. But the amount of... Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but the amount of colorful hair, communication, associate degree having bitches that got on my page that was like, oh my gosh, she needs to find another doctor. Her doctor doesn't know what they're talking about. And you do, bitch. Oh, period, dude. That's a factual statement, dude. So many of these people want to project their insecurities because they know that their life suck a lot and they want your life to suck too. So that way you could be with them. And it's pretty apparent, dude. Um, now, I don't know if it's the, <laughs> the colorful haired associate have associate degree having bitches. I'm not really too sure. But a lot of people nowadays do feel like they got to project their insecurities onto you. So that way you can also be down with the sickness just like them. And you do. True. I have two autoimmune diseases and I was born with a spinal cord injury. Well, it's not an injury. Technically, my spinal cord is not... It's just not enough space for my spinal cord to function properly. And the extra weight that I have put on in these last past couple of years has really, like, shifted my spinal cord, right? And, and suffocating it. Damn. Pretty much, right? So when my doctor says I need to lose weight... It's because I need to lose weight. Like I see a lot of those like fat activists or people in general, they just kind of doubt doctors for some reason, which is crazy because like they'll sit there and they'll go, it's medical fat phobia. This guy is obviously biased and, you know, he's terrible. He's, he just wants the worst for me. I'm just saying like, you think a guy that went to medical school for like eight years of his life just like doesn't like you, bro? Like why? Why would you ever assume that? It's such a weird, such a weird stream of dialogue that you're going down. The thought process, right? The series of events that would need to take place in order for this doctor to not like you because what? Like, it, valid reasons, right? Like, how many times have I seen these people talk about, oh, I needed to get this surgery done, but I couldn't get the surgery done because my doctor told me I could literally die if I went under the anesthesia or uh, they would not, it would not be possible to cut through as much fat as I did have in order to get whatever I did. It would be great complications. It could be worse. If I got this surgery, if I didn't, it's medical fat phobia. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what do you mean it's medical fat phobia? What are you talking about? This guy, this guy went to school for eight years and you think this guy's a fucking, you think this guy's fat phobic? He probably is in the sense of like, he knows it's not a good idea. But you see a lot of doctors nowadays that are fat positive or whatever. 
that are advocating for fat people because they think that they they're gonna lose their jobs or something like that if they if they say some shit that they shouldn't be saying or whatever like actually discriminating against like actual medical advice because if they they, they think if they do they're gonna get fired it's really sad but that's something that's happening nowadays. At least this woman's taking her health her health serious, right? If a doctor told her straight out, like, you need to lose weight in order for your, I guess, your spine to be uncompact, which makes sense. I mean, 100%, that makes a lot of sense. And also, just having the weight on your body in general, as we guys know, it's not good. So, at least she's being serious about it. But there will be a lot of haters. There's a lot of people out there that just don't want to see you succeed. Because if you succeed, then they're they're going to have to do something about themselves. Because they just feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, they just want to be down with that sickness. Like, uh why are y'all like this and i understand the movements the fat liberation of health at every size body yeah but at one point these people go too far right like it's okay to say your body looks good it's okay to say you have respect for yourself but you know listen dude you you got to come to the same idea that everybody else has if, you, if you're obese or you're fat and you're over here talking about i'm beautiful that's fine you can go ahead and say that but can we just also agree that even though you think you're beautiful you're unhealthy like that's not a good idea to be at that weight for a consistent period of time it's not a good idea to walk around with like a third more or double um, the amount of weight that you should be walking around with. It's not a good idea. It's not It's not healthy. It's not a good thing to have on your body. But these people just want to completely negate that. Like they just want to sidestep that. Be like, no, nah, it's not too bad. Like, it's not even bad at all, actually. Positivity. I believe that you should be happy in whatever state that you're in. And if you are happy being obese, morbidly obese, or just mid-sized, do it do it but true if you want to do that dude i've always said that shit if you want to be fat and you want to be dangerous and you want to be big and you want to be voluptuous and you want to rep that big body that's fine you can go ahead and do that shit i don't fucking care personally it's your life live live your life however you want to as long as it's not impeding other people and affecting other people fine but uh just also be realistic dude we need to have the same we need to be we need to be seated in reality together like if i'm having an argument with you if i'm having a conversation with you and you're telling me that the weight is not an issue no hold on wait a minute we do need to have this we need to we need to make sure we're in the same reality here okay the weight is an issue the weight is a problem and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stop asking that question I'm, until we establish that yes the weight is a problem the weight is 100 percent an issue so if you want to sit there and tell me it's not you're just flat wrong that's an, that's that's a problem right there so we need to make sure we're seated in reality before we can progress if you want to be fat that's fine if you want to be big that's fine if you want to be thick that's fine but you can't sit there and try to tell me that's not an issue it's an issue no way on God's green earth you think that you should have this much authority to come in other people's comment section telling them what the fuck they should do, what they should pay for. Oh, she needs to get a second opinion. Bitch, have you seen the American healthcare system? You get me a second opinion. You pay for me a second opinion. Oh, wait, you don't want to do that? Then shut the fuck up. Y'all getting on my nerves. Damn, dude. Sassy black woman coming out of here with the facts. I mean, everything she said was basically true. A lot of people out here nowadays that just want to be sad with other people so i mean i appreciate the words truthful i think there's so many different ways that you can be considered a bad fatty but it it, it really does boil down to what you said Eliza. like it's it's rejecting the stereotypes and this is such a weird podcast man it's literally just a podcast of three oh, is it four one two three four i think it's four i think it's four women sitting in a room together just talking about how oppressed they are and how sad they are because of their weight and all the stuff they have to deal with because they're fat and every time I watch this show, every time I come on here just to check what's going on, what's new with the fab fatties, I always leave more depressed than I came in. I'm always thinking, like, what are you guys doing with yourselves? Like, you guys are, do you not have, like, families? Do you not have, like, video games that you play? Like, do you guys not go grocery shopping? How come every time I see you guys, it's always you guys talking about how depressed you guys are about your lives and you guys never do anything about it? And you always shit on that one girl with a no neck. Why do you do that shit, Okay. It's an issue. It's a fucking issue. Change your own lives. Stop making, stop trying to sit here. And, and it's always sitting, by the way. Stop sitting here and then claiming that you're having a terrible, disgusting existence while the only way you were able to achieve this value of fatness on your body is because you live one of the most privileged lifestyles on the entire planet and the, and the best time period that, to ever exist, ever. Like, you guys are literally walking privilege stains. And not performing. Not performing, right? It, it's going out with your diet-obsessed real estate team and you order a burger and it's like i hope you guys enjoy your salads this is what i really wanted and i fucking love it you know it's it's rejecting what I, like these people are so weird bro like can you imagine literally going out and getting a burger and looking at other people and going i got this because i want to spite you guys who cares 
Uh, why do you do? You, do your friends care? Does anybody in the room give a fuck that you ordered a burger? I don't fucking care. When I'm going out to eat with my friends, guess what I do? And they order the lasagna, or they're ordering like chicken wings or whatever the fuck. I don't care. You know why? Because they can order whatever the fuck they want. They're grown ass men. I don't care. You're a grown ass woman. You think anybody gives a fuck that you ordered a salad or a burger? Nobody cares. When people say to you like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you." You're gonna eat that? You're gonna Who get the fuck says that? Who who are these friends that are looking at you? Oh my god, what? Is that a burger? Oh my god, you're eating that? Oh, are you sure you want to do that to yourself? Because you're already like, you know, your blood is already basically bricks. You already got gravy. Um, hey, do you mind later on if I can collect some of the armpit grease that you have underneath your armpit so I can use it to cook with later? Like, who's saying this? Nobody's saying this. Just stop lying. Get that? Like, you know, like all your friends are depressed just like you. You literally told everybody that you hang around people that all agree with you. You guys are literally the definition of of echo chambers, cognitive biases. I, I, like, oh, I wish I could have that. No, you can. You can, but like, oh, I'm on a diet. You know, hey, sorry, I can't eat this because guess what? I'm, you know, 240 and I need to get in shape. Otherwise, I'm going to be big for the rest of my fucking life because it turns out as you get older and older, it becomes harder and harder to lose this weight. But, you know, go off, queen. Mm -hmm. You can. But like, oh, well, I'm being bad. But guess what? I can kill somebody, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. Or, you know, like, I, it's not a good thing to do. You know, it's not it's not, a, it's not a good technique. I can do a lot of things, but I'm not going to. In the same way here, like, I'm, you can do a lot of things, but I'm not going to. No, you're just, you yeah, know. <laughs> fat as fuck. Man, I really don't like this woman at all. Something about her, man. She just kind of reminds me of somebody. I don't know, man. Somebody, like, she kind of looked like a fish or something. Do you think immediately people that say glorifying obesity, right? And the glorifying... I also don't like the way she talks because it seems like she doesn't pronounce every word fully. And when she starts her sentences, it's always, it always like, it sounds like that. It's, just, it's like all blurred together. It's all one giant long word when she talks. You're just, you yeah, know. It makes me think immediately people that say glorifying obesity, right? And the glorifying obesity literally, when, whenever that is used, it is anytime you are laughing showing connections with friends and family or loved ones yeah, or a partner happy. this woman right here is always always every single time shit on progressively every single time bro um i don't know why she gotta be wearing these collared shirts or the long necks man um the turtlenecks given the fact that the neck is literally non-existence it just outlines the fact that you don't have one it's just really weird or laughing showing connections with friends and family or loved ones yeah, or being a partner. happy being in happy. a fat body being happy in a fat body without being like i had to do something to earn that it is just depression like these people are literally just walking balls of depression let's talk about why this comment body shaming works both ways i lost 60 pounds being called thin is just offensive as being called fat i mean probably not Probably not. Probably not. If somebody, if a white person calls you the N word, um, compared <laughs> compared to a black person calling you a cracker or something like that, it's, it's probably not even close. Like it's it's not even the same thing. So I have to disagree with this commenter. Is not true. No. And if you want more information as to why, you can go read this article. Skinny shaming is not the same as fat phobia. So here's the deal. So I know she's gonna fuck this up in some way, but go ahead. Society wants us to be as close to the beauty standard as possible, which means thin. You're but why? But like, I, I always, always ask this question. Why do you think society wants you to be thinner? Could it be that when you're fatter, you're literally a detriment on the healthcare system? Could it be that when you're fatter, you literally have an inability to work as many hours or be as productive as you could be if you were thinner? Could it be that you would be more physically active as a thinner person, could it be that there are less health risks to being thinner? I just like, these people just say shit as if it, it, it doesn't have realistic meanings behind it. There's, there's like almost no benefits to being fat, especially in a society. So if you're sitting here and you're saying like, oh, society wants us to be thin. Yeah, there's a good reason for that. Eurocentric beauty standards. Right? That's not the case. That's not the case. They, It's just too easy for these people to just excuse their bad habits, man. They want you to be thin because it's literally just beneficial for you and everyone else around you, including the society, across the board. Yes. Right. So if someone is calling you thin, they're calling you closer to the beauty standard. They're calling you somebody that's more capable, somebody that's going to be able to do more, somebody that's going to be able to, somebody that actually has the ability to put their foot down, take accountability for themselves and work on themselves. Even somebody maintaining weight. I know a lot of people sit there and go, it's not a big, it's not a big job. You know, like they don't have to do anything. They're just thin. That 
is true to one degree or another, but overall, if somebody's thin, they're maintaining that weight for a long period of time, they're doing a lot in order to do that. Um, they're not feeding into their desires. They're not, maybe they don't have those desires, but like most people love food. Most people will eat food consistently and stuff like that. So that just means that person is, you know, taking accountability and they're recognizing that it's them that has to do it. Whether you interpret that as like too thin, too gaunt, whatever, they're still saying that you're closer to the beauty standard than someone who is fat. It's sure. Okay, whatever, bro. But it, this just all like her entire ideology binges on the fact that it's westernized beauty standard. Eastern Euro what'd she say? Like Eastern European or Western European fucking beauty standards, bro. It, it's just like it's just far gone. Like these people are living in some kind of fairy tale land and they're not recognizing the real reasons why society wants you to be thin. Like it's just so dumb. Because like because she has this ideology, because this is like the foundation at which she thinks people should be thin, it's not because of health, the health risks or um, being more productive in society or whatever the fuck. It's because, it, you know, racist or sexism or um, beauty standards. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? So, you guys are so far gone at this point. Like, you can't have arguments with these people. It's, it's like this is so, so far off the beaten path that, like, you would need to go real deep and redesign her entire but baseline understanding of things. Someone who is fat is marginalized by society. That means they don't have access to healthcare. They don't have access to travel, public spaces. They don't. Oh, you have less access to healthcare in the sense of like maybe when you when you apply for like insurances and things like that, you're at an increased risk of certain illnesses or death. So therefore, they're not going to insure those particular things, or you're maybe gonna have to pay more uh, based on your premiums because you're just fatter. Like for instance, um, certain cars um, will have higher higher insurance values because those cars are more likely to crash right people that buy these particular cars are probably going to have to pay more due to the fact that these cars are in more accidents right so like if you're fat and you're applying for health insurance and the company sees that you're 450 chilling they're going to look at you and go well this person is really fat and we are going to have to charge you an increased uh, amount of money because you're probably going to have some type of illness due to this now granted you might not but According to insurance companies and statistics and all this other stuff, you are. So they're going to have to up that. So when you say this shit, there's nuance to it. You can't just say it as if like, oh, well, if we don't get health insurance. We have, we have. Yeah, you do, but it's just going to be really, really difficult. And by the way, you put yourself in this bracket. It's not like you, you have an inability to understand this. Like I understand this person does have the ability to understand complex thought. But for some reason, they just completely sidestep the biggest reasons why these things occur. And just act like it's, oh, it's because the patriarchy. Oh, the fucking society at large doesn't like fat people. No, it's just because you guys are like... You know, at risk of a lot of different illnesses. To healthcare, they don't have access to travel. Public what do you mean travel? Like, what are you talking about? Like, you do have access to travel. Like, it's actually probably really good for you, given the fact that a lot of, I'm, I'm guessing when you say travel, you're talking about traveling to different countries or different parts of the country uh, with airplanes and things such as a fourth. Like, you guys literally have, we have to pay like an extra $75 for like literally one pound over on the luggage. And you guys are literally chilling at double or triple the amount of weight that you guys should be. But because I'm like one pound over on my 40 pound luggage, uh, I have to be charged an extra $75 and you guys are literally paying the same exact ticket price as me, yet you are taking up double or triple the amount of space on the plane. It's just crazy. Like, and you're sitting here complaining about that shit, public transportation, you get no negation from that. You guys are literally taking up two or three seats sometimes on a public transportation and you're acting as though we are in the wrong looking at you taking up those two or three seats, bro. Nah, bro, you are wrong for that, bro. My legs hurt, man. And I'm trying to look at that seat that your your left butt cheek is taking up. And I'm thinking maybe I could use that, but you're not letting me use that because you, you're, you know, you just want to take that up yourself because your body is big. Public spaces, they don't have access to clothing. Too easy. They are Too treated easy. terribly by people, by healthcare professionals. We are not a protected class. You mean a why would you need to be a protected class? You literally got this way because you you ate into your urges. Whatever, bro. Whatever, man. I like, I don't even understand what these fucking people are talking about, bro. These people literally just want to be oppressed so bad. They just want to have the. They just really want to have the ability to say i am a minority like what do you why are you so fucking down bad for this shit it's oppression olympics today we can get fired from our jobs 
for being fat. Why though? Why would you get fired from your jobs for being fat? Could it be that when you're fat, you're doing less work? Maybe you're less productivity wise. Maybe you're just not going in the same amount of days. Maybe you're not staying late the amount of times. Maybe you're physically incapable of doing whatever job that is. I don't know, bro. Like they, these people are just sidestepping this shit. Like they're saying things, but they're not adding any examples, any nuance to this shit. Why would you be fired from your job? Why would a doctor be fat phobic? Why would there be medical fat phobia? Why would you not have health insurance? Why would any of this stuff occur? Could it, is it just because you're fat or is it because you guys have higher health risks? Could it be that when you work in an establishment and you're fucking 300 pounds over what you should be, you may not be able to do that job to the same degree that somebody would have been if you they were like the proper weight? Like you guys are just saying shit as if it's like it's not like there's no nuance to this. It's crazy. We statistically make less than our thin counterparts. But like why though? I hate when people bring this shit up. You make less than your thin counterparts because why? And where are you getting that metric from? Is it is it just you're fat therefore people pay you less or could it be you're fat or because you, you're fat therefore you don't work as much? Could that be the thing? Could that be what that is? It's like the societal power is not towards fat people. It like is you had a good point. When you like, if you were gonna argue whether or not the word thin compared to fat was unequal, there's a good argument there. There is a good argument there. I mean, it's a dumb argument because like everybody knows this, but fine, it's an argument nonetheless. If that's that's an argument you want to have, fine. But like, I knew this person was gonna say some absolute dumb shit and victimize themselves to such a degree that like it's infeasible now that anybody's gonna like. Is what you're doing is like you have a good. This is something you could talk about. But as you talk about it, more people slowly lose thought patterns on that because they're just like, oh, this person's stupid. Like, this person's dumb. Like, what are they even talking about? Because so many people hear what you're saying and they go, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, this is such a far off the beaten path of way people think about shit. Nobody's going to listen to you. Towards thin people. So if someone is calling you fat, they are doing it to stigmatize you. In I could come up with like way better reasons why the word fat is a lot more demonizing than the word thin. And they would have all been a million times better than the patriarchy or society is bad. I can't get I can't get clothes. And like, it's just so fucking stupid. Like you went so wrong. And I, 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 I feel like I could be the best fat activist if I really tried, man. In some sort of way. It's not the same. It's not equivalent. <laughs> It is meant to further marginalize you. And like, yes, a lot of fat people like myself have reclaimed the word and we're like, it's literally just a, an adjective and it is an accurate like descriptor for my body and I'm not going to let it be a stigmatizing word for myself. But we know that people still try to weaponize that language. But it still stands to reason that someone saying, hey, go eat a burger, which is something that is often said, versus, hey, your body looks like a busted can of biscuits, which has been said to me in a previous video, are not the same thing. Health is yeah, it's not the same thing, but so what? Like, the, the examples you gave were so fucking dumb. Whatever, man. If I was a fat activist, just know I'd kill it. Is socially, in society talked about in a specific way it has a specific look you have to do specific actions and it needs to look like health to other people which is yeah. where the performatory aspect comes in right yeah. yeah you need to look like you are you are working to achieve health yeah i think it's so important to reiterate that it does not matter the size of your body you can be unhealthy at any size yes mm -hmm. And that I feel like people won't argue with as much as you can be healthy at any size. If you're worried. Because anybody can be thin at any size. Sorry. Anybody could be unhealthy at any size. But when I see a fat person, I know they're unhealthy. Whereas a thin person will just be ambiguously unhealthy, if that makes any sense. I don't know. It's just such dumb points, bro. Read about your friends and family making comments about your body this Thanksgiving or holiday season. I have a dare for you. I triple dog dare you. When somebody asks you a weird or intrusive question like, should you be eating that? You ask it right back. Should you be eating that? And they'll be like, huh? You could be like, what? And then just walk away and let that simmer in their mind. 
<laughs> yeah, your grandma's going to hate that, dude. Your grandma's going to think you're a bad person for that shit, dude. I, I don't know why these people think that this is a sick burn to your family members, dude. A lot of these people, maybe it's backhanded. Don't get me wrong. Family members can be backhanded as fuck. But sometimes, like, matching energy may not be the best thing for family members, dude. A lot of these people are from different generations and things like that. They might not understand the nuances of today's society and things like that. I remember when I was growing up, people thought it was going to be cool to have, like, VHS tapes for the rest of your life. I literally remember when I was a kid, uh, my parents would be like, oh, David, make sure you understand how to play rewind and fast forward on a VHS because this is something you're going to have to need for the rest of your life. And then here we are, 2024, nobody even knows what a VHS tape is. Like, what is that? I don't fucking know. Nobody even has cable. Like, nobody has any of this shit. And then here I am trying to teach all these elder people how to use the internet and all this other stuff like you guys were fucking wrong you guys were straight up wrong and you thought that i was the one that had to learn your you know your ancient technology but regardless man it might i don't know man just like flex on your grandma like that come on dude or you can hit them with a isn't it so weird that i asked you a question like that this also works for statements if someone says you should really be watching what you eat just flip it right back to them you should really be watching what you eat isn't it weird that I made that statement to you? Boom. I dare you. Sick burn. She absolutely ate that. She she ate. Hashtag she ate down. Oh my god, you ate down, girl. Literally, you ate down on that turkey. That turkey is about to be gone before anybody even sees that shit. Just pure bones. Aside from that, please know that you are worthy and enough just the way you are. And you do not deserve for people to make comments about your body like that. Just depends on what you mean by deserve, dude. Like, people are going to make comments about your body regardless. So, it is what it is. It's not about deserving or not deserving. You live in, like, we live in a society, bro. Go get them. The turkey. She's on by the turkey. Why Aritzia gonna piss me off? Because if you can make these, if you can make these. These look really comfortable, dude. Oh my God, they look so good, so juicy, so plump. There's just something about these things. It just looks so good to me. And display them in the window. And you can have plus sizes. Samira, do you, I'm not even going to justify that. Samara's is on some different shit sometimes, dude. Just low effort. Just low effort shit. Just saying the most blatant, ignorant shit. But, like, people can, you know, it will look at this and go, oh my God, Samara, you're so right. Totally. Yes, 100%. What do you mean 100%? That's a coat for, like, normal people. It's just bigger and thicker because, guess what? When it's cold outside, you want something that's going to keep the warmth in. Whatever. I guess Samara doesn't understand the difference between, like, big coats, big puffy coats and clothes that are made for plus-size people. Anyway, guys. That's the end of the video here. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in bath. I don't take those because I'm scared. I'm scared. I used to be really, really scared sometimes when I was a kid. Um, getting in the water, the tub water, because I used to think that the like I would become a fish. Like the the water would go into my butthole or into my penis. I'd just have to I'd die or something like that. I just didn't want to be marinated from the inside with any of that stuff. And I was scared. I was genuinely very, very scared of that. So um, I don't take baths anymore. I do take showers. Of course I do. I wash my legs as well. Now I wash my legs. For a long time I didn't wash my legs because I just didn't need to because like why would I? And now I do. I let the soap touch my legs. I let the cloth touch the leg out as well. And it's beautiful. It's amazing. I don't see any different personally, but a lot of people were talking shit about me. And they were going, David, you don't wear, you don't wash your legs. You're fucking weird. Listen, bro. You, you know, listen, you going to eat a girl's ass, but you going you gonna to shit on me for not washing my legs? You, you the wrong one for that. You wrong. Okay. You wrong. Have I eaten ass? Yeah. But that's not the point. I don't wash my legs and I eat ass. It's the same thing. Anyway, you smell really good today. You smell really nice. You have nice eyebrows. Very luxurious. Um, nice flossing technique, by the way. I like the way you was putting the floss in between the teeth and accurately scrubbing and, and, and brushing them, making sure that you had gotten rid of all the plaque and the bad smellingness of your mouth. Make sure you prioritize the tongue, too, when you brush them. I know you do because you smell good all the time. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, it will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.